Hey cuties, I'm Lenikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the Young and the Restless edition. Today is Monday, uh, May the 1st, 2023. I hope you guys are enjoying the first day of the month. All right, let's get into it on a scale of 1 to 10. Honestly, I'm going to give this one a 7. Um, it was a solid episode to me, so let's get into it. We see um, Ashley and Tucker. Baby, Tucker! <laughs> He's trying to give her breakfast, but Ashley is up, dressed, and ready to go to work. So she said, you're going to have to wake up a little bit earlier if you're trying to surprise me with breakfast. He said, well, I don't know because you got me in another room in this house or whatever, but thank you for inviting me, you know, but you got me in another room in this house. So how was I supposed to know? And she was like, you'll be all right. So she leaves, right? And she goes to the office where Billy is there. And she's telling Billy, listen, Billy, we need to do something about Jabot because our our head, the department heads are not answering questions about Jabot business. They're answering questions all about Diane and how this affects Jabot personally because Diane is accused of murdering the CEO's ex-wife so what's going like what's happening what's ha what's going on here and they he says you know it's all good you don't have to worry about anything we're taking care of it we're gonna get the pr team on it and she says no like we need to really sit jack down talk to the board and see what we what we're going to do he said are you trying to plan a coup i said that's what it sounded like to me and she said i'm just saying we need to wake him up and get his attention because he's too far focused in Diane and she could beat these charges. And once she beat these charges, she's going to, she's going to feel like she's entitled to not only um, Jack, but the Jabot home, family home, as well as the business. And I can't have this. I said, well, what's about to happen here? I'm intrigued. And so then we move on because Billy ain't trying to hear her. So then we move on to Jack, you know, being at home and he see and Tucker's like, good morning. And he says, don't nobody have time for this right now, Tucker. Like we're, we're grieving the loss. Someone's in prison or jail looking like they're going to prison. Don't nobody have time for you. Ashley was wrong for wrong for moving you in when she did move you in. But you know, you can't tell somebody when they can move somebody in, Jack. I'm sorry, blue eyes. It is what it is. You didn't ask anybody permission to move Diane in and you moved her in. So it's all good in my books. But anyways, he and Tucker are talking and Tucker says, you know, I want my family the way you want your family. He said, you don't know the meaning of the word. Tucker's so stupid. He said, which one? And so Tucker tells him, you know, I want a relationship with Devon and Ashley and that's what I'm here for. And that's what I'm going to get. So I don't care how you feel. <laughs> I said, I know that's right, Tucker. You know, I, I do like Jack, but sometimes he gets on my nerves, but really he just focused on Diane. He don't got time for uh, Tucker. So he ends up leaving, right? Excuse me. So then Jack, Jack ends up meeting up with Michael and he like, give me some good news. Michael ain't got no good news for you, but Michael does say, now I could get some things done, but it's going to be off the books, you know? And I say, okay, you're going to do it like you would do it for Victor Newman. Cause Victor, you wouldn't even had to ask these questions. Victor would have been like, do whatever you got to do. Actually, I already got people on it to do it the illegal way. Now, Michael does let Jack know, listen, sir, if we do it this way, it's hard. It's going to be hard. It's not impossible. But Christine could shred us to pieces. She could eat us up for trying to blame this on a dead man or whatever as a defense. And Jack said, you know, he don't care what they got to do. He just wants Diane free. And so then he sees Tucker come in and he's like, oh, uh, Ashley moved him in and all this. And they're like, okay, don't even focus on that. He said, I'm not, I don't have time. I got to focus on, um, Diane and getting her free. So they're going to work and try to get some, uh, Tucker's phone records. They're going to try to get surveillance and all that. I said, well, somebody better be on it, Phyllis. You better use those tech skills to try to uh, clear all that stuff out. But they're going to do all of that to try to cover, to try to find out, you know, that Jeremy Starks was the one who actually murdered Phyllis, right? And so they're like, he's like, do what you got to do. So then we see Tucker um, and Ashley do come in and they put on the display and Jack said, I don't even have time for it. But um, Michael was like, ooh, <laughs> bye, Michael. So anyway, so when Ashley comes in with Tucker, she is doing a little display and she said, the only person in my family that even cares about what's going on is me. And so Tucker telling her, 
I know how I could distract you, girl. Keep your eyes focused on the prize. I said, you are not the prize, sir. Are you a woman? You are not the prize. She is the prize. But he said, keep your eye like Tucker, though. Keep your eyes focused on the prize, and I could distract you. I said, really? And Ashley fell for it. You still got your sweet? He said, yes. Excellent. So they get up. I said, bye, Ashley. Hell, that's why you move. <laughs> so then we go over here to L.A. And excuse me, and Nate is there with Victoria, right? Ooh, child, this is my favorite storyline going on right now because it's about to go down this week. Really, that's why I'm back doing these reviews for this week because Elena about to make it go down. But anyways, so Victoria, um, she all in her room. Is it just me or is anybody else looking at Victoria like straight trash? I, I, I'm sorry, I have to say it. She, she over here. She did everything she could to pop it on a headstand for Nate, and he, he likes it. And I'm like, that's trashy, sir. She's trashy to me. But whatever. So he over he's over here. Then went to L.A. He opened up his phone. He see a picture of Elena. Baby, that does not deter him. He still tells Victoria, I got a table downstairs. Um, so she comes down after looking at herself in the mirror like, yeah, girl, I'm going to get this man again. So she goes downstairs or whatever, and they sit down and eat. They talk about business. But, you know, it's always a little sexual in the window when, they, when they're talking. So they're talking about business, but they make it, they relate it on the personal as well. So anyway, she tells him that she got something up in her room, right? And she, he said, oh, she said, I could bring it down. He said, no, no, bother. I'm going to go upstairs with you. Next thing we know, she really is popping it on the headstands for him because they in the bed together, right? And so he all in the bed with her and, and touching and rubbing and feeling and all that good stuff. And then... Later on, she sleep on him. He kiss her on top of her head, and he looks at himself in the mirror. Yeah, look at yourself. Look at yourself, Nate. But I don't really care about Nate because this ain't the same Nate. So then Elena over here telling Audra, girl, my man taking me on a trip when he get back from this trip. You know, his business. We going on a trip. You know, he even wrote me a little note, told me, don't forget. He told me I could go anywhere I want. Now, I'm thinking about going to an island, you know, sip a little drinks and, oh, but girl, I could go here and go a little shopping and doing it. I said, please stop. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> You're making yourself look silly. This man don't want you. He's proven over and over again he doesn't want you. Now, I'm not saying Nate doesn't want Elena, but I'm saying he doesn't want Elena. <laughs> like he, you, he had a choice to be faithful. When somebody wants you, they're faithful to you. He's not faithful to you, and he's lying. The only reason he offered you this trip, Mama, is because he feels guilty about what he's doing. And he's trying to get you, shut up, focus on this trip. So when I'm in L.A., I could do what I want to do in peace. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Let me cheat in peace, ma'am. And so anyways, Audra's sitting here listening to all that, knowing what she know. And so she tell Elena, girl, did he tell you he was going to L.A. by himself? And Elena said, yeah, she said, mm. And Elena said, what's going on? She said, I do like these two together. I know, I know Audra ain't no damn good, but I still like Audra. I do. And I like these two uh, together. But she said, girl, that man did not go to L.A. by himself. He went with Victoria. She said, I, I know you lying. And she said, no, 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 I'm not lying. He went with Victoria. And Elena said, he lied to me. And she said, and then Audra see, because Audra was going in. I mean, he's a cheater. How could he do that? He's you got you and you're beautiful. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're uh, a caring person. And he gonna go after Victoria. Oh, how could he? Like what when it, the two of you don't even compare? And Elena's like, Audra, stop. And she said, you know what, girl? Because Audrey, you know, trying to back it up a little bit. She she doing it all on purpose, but you know, she got to play the part. It might not even be nothing. He might not even went with Victoria. They might not be doing it. It probably is just business. You know, it ain't nothing. And Elena said, even if they're not doing anything, even if he's not cheating, what I do know is Nate is a liar. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Even if he's not doing anything with Victoria, he's a liar because he lied to you. And I don't like, and she said, I don't like that. So um, I just said, what you going to do? And she said, I know one thing. I'm not going to sit my ass down here and get played. I said, yes, Elena, give me some fireworks because I'm sorry. 
I didn't re I didn't do it, recaps over that Phyllis thing because it was boring to me. It was too predictable. It was uh, I didn't like it. But this right here, I like. Like, <laughs> please give me some drama and a relationship drama. This whole thing with Phyllis, she going too far. I love me some Phyllis, but she going too far. It's just crazy. It's just madness. And they didn't do it right. Jerry Stark could have should have been here longer. Every time they get a real good villain on this soap. He only lasts like two, three months. I don't want to see that. So anyways, Elena's like, I'm not going to sit my ass down here and get played. And they playing in my face, talking about there's nothing going on. And then you go and go to L.A. with the trick. No, nah, he's not going to do that. So I'm going to take my butt to L.A. And I am going to go off on him. I'm going to catch him in the act. I'm going to go off of him. I'm going to throw his clothes in the street. She's going to get all types of ghetto, and I'm here for it. And she said, and then she told um, Audrey, you offered me another option a while ago. And she said, well, what? Yeah, but you went in. She said, no, nah, it's time to take that option. I'm going to call. Uh, we're going to get fine, JT. I said, okay, then. And y'all, that was the Young and the Rest of the Day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow for an all-new episode of What Happened on the Soaps, the Young and the Rest of the Edition. I will be doing all episodes, like an episode recap every day this week, because this should be a good week. Um, so I'll be doing a recap every day, and I might go live whenever Elena confronts Nate. I might go live for that so I can get y'all's um, feedback as we're doing it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you uh, tomorrow for an, a new episode of What Happened on the Soaps, The Young and the Restless Edition. Goodbye.